So here we have Common Rider Denno, sword form, SH Figure Arts. Just got this figure a couple days ago, so I wanted to take a look at it. It's uh, one of the most recent Figure Arts releases. Denno is one of my favorite Common Riders, um, so I have several figures of him. Here is the previously available version, the Sochaku Henshin Denno from, I don't know, a couple years ago. Um, let's see. What should we talk about? Differences. Some obvious differences are the beautiful compound eyes that the figure arts has. Which I don't know if the camera is picking up. And this one doesn't have that. Um, this one has some nice metallic -y armor because it's from a Toys R Us exclusive set. This one is a little more accurate to the show, but this one's pretty. Um, the only thing I could say that I really like about this one more is that there was a sticker for the Rider Pass and the Figure Arts one has nothing except the um, an outline of the symbol which I don't think you can see I will probably well I'll keep this because it's part of a bigger set but this is no longer my default Deno this one is uh, first off let's look at the cool accessories we've got his sword a detached sword blade, the Dengasher pieces on a belt, uh, the belt without the Dengasher pieces, and a bunch of hands, which I just messed up by being careless. Two fists, two split open hands, a thumbs up, or a thumbs pointing at himself when he does his Orde Sanju move, and a hand for holding the Rider Pass so he can scan it for his full charge. He also has two holding things hands for holding the sword and a sword without a blade with this nifty effects part. Let's talk about that first. It consists of four pieces of plastic. This ball, three energy beams, sorry that's five pieces of plastic, and the sword. Now these attach on the bottom in, in the energy ball. Let's move him so it focuses on the sword. And up in the top here. And frankly, while it looks great, this thing is really fiddly. It's really hard to... The, the bottom ones, each, each energy beam has a different shaped peg, but being translucent yellow plastic and very tiny, it's very difficult to see the differences. One is round, one is square, and one is maybe rectangular. I'm not even sure. I had a hard time getting a couple of them in. I'm not sure they are even in all the way. But they hold in okay for now. And then they each have a little round peg that plugs into one of those holes. So that you can imitate his full charge slash attack, which is cool. This just plugs right on top of sword. Uh, likewise, the blade just plugs into the top of the ball. Um, looks really great. I think it's awesome. I'll probably display it this way mostly. But like, it does come with a regular sword if you want to have more regular poses. Figure is super, super duper posable. He's got lots of shoulder articulation, Bicep, double elbows, nice wrist on a ball and swivel peg and hips and a stem that moves down so you can get really wide poses and not look horrible. Uh, thigh swivel, double knees, nice, great. These work much better than I thought they would, his ankles. Um, the ball has a lot of clearance so you can get some really deep deep ankle poses, um, which is really great because one of the things I like about some of the other figure arts like the double or kabuto ones is that the ankles have so many joints that they can get really deep poses. But like I said, this one, I didn't expect it to be anywhere near this good as far as deep poses with his ankles. He's standing on flat feet, mostly, nearly. Um, he's got some chest and torso and some great ball. The head is beautiful. I still can't tell if it's picking up the gorgeous compound effect on his eyes. 
Um, I am afraid that if I drop this, these neat little prongs are going to break off. So I'll have to be very careful about that. His shoulder pads also are jointed so I can get up out of the way if he wants to do over-the-head action with his sword. So that's really all there is to it. Um, it's really great to have sword form in figure arts. I look forward to the rest of his form showing up eventually. The next one coming out is not Denno, but the secondary writer Zeronos in his Altair form. Um, and I think that's the only other one that we know of. Um, these are the same hands and the same sword and belt and all of the accessories are the same as came with Climax form Denno, except for this energy effect. Um, one more quick comparison. Here he is with SIC Denno, which I love the Denno SIC figures. They are very poseable. They are very beautiful. Highly detailed. And, well, not really much more to say about it. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting either or, if you're like me, both SIC and SH Figure Arts Deno. Um, I got my Deno off of Mandarake, and I think it was around 2,500 yen plus shipping, maybe 2,000 yen plus shipping. I don't remember. Good price. Either way, I'm very happy to have it. I uh, just wish they were releasing them faster so I could get more of them. Thanks for watching.